kind of we've kind of jerry rigged it because wargaming kind of well well they kind of disabled the extended tech tree mod but but by changing that one file we got access to it again so we kind of get to check check out a lot of interesting a lot of interesting hacker man things dude the art department though the art department though look at this port man good lord the art department man actually actually gorgeous let me go get a glass of water and we're gonna go we're gonna hack your man away at the new ships one second back there we go <clears throat> let's see let's see uh we can let's put up a twitch chat somewhere boom, boom, boom. we'll move you into a corner where you belong there we go is this pts yes this is pts and we did a bit of a bit of a file editing so that we got access to all the upcoming ships in the Europe tech tree. Interesting. Interesting. I mean the low tiers, not that not that impressive. I guess we can look at the tier three half. Yeah. But I, I assume it's gonna be quite 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 standard. Quite quite standard. Yeah, nothing really special. Classic low tier ship. Classic low tier ships. No one really tier four can start becoming interesting, but you're gonna get pa go past this quite quite quickly. Wargaming, of course, are gonna no doubt do some early access, buy the spin doubloons to gamble your way to the correct loot box that leads you directly to high tier and skip all the low tier ships. I'm sure that's gonna become a thing. I'm sure that's big. And this turret setup is something wonky though. Good lord, this turret setup is something wonky. I think we're gonna change port actually. The lighting is. The, this port looks cool, but uh, the lighting is actually terrible for making out chips. Let's go fjords. It's still my favorite port, I think. Ara ara, my ass is blasted. What the fuck? The Demon Lord. One thank year. You for thank months. you for the entertainment equals. Thank you, my dude. Let's see. Europe. Okay, here we go. The celebes. Celebes? Celebes? What? Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Jeez, that's a forehead. Oh my god, that's a five head. That, that's a six head. Good very luck. Consistent. I'm a very that's, stable that's genius. <laughs> Jesus. 50 months of animal research. Yep, cock. Gamer, thank you for the gamer, thank you for the 50 months, my dude. Good lord, that is a lot of, that is a tower and a half. And that's an interesting plane there on the back. Let's check this out. Armor layout, 16, 75. Nothing special there. Very small bow though, bow though, but and uh, had a lot of things going on on it, but. It's a car ferry. <laughs> oh, we can see some stats here, but not too much. Let's see. Back to tech tree. Kik. Kik doing? Kik. Kik doing? Let's see. Good man. You can see some high standard object hard. Oh, and here's the new consumable. HE Bomb Airstrike. Oh my lord. Carries out the aerial bombardment of the marked area with HE bombs. 32mm pen, 33% fire chance, maximum range 9 kilometers, reload time 60 seconds. Oh man. Oh man. HE bomb airstrike. Available flights. The number of aircraft in attack and flight six. Good luck. Ara, ara, my Starting at tier six. 
Yonder Nixken, thank you for the 22 months. Double planes, oh my. What's the armor layout lot? Oh wait, 25 millimeter deck armor in tier six. We're starting what to have something you resembling armor. Wait, this thing is layered this is armor, actually. Animal research. Takahashi, thank you. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling oh, is salt, see the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. See this? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the Citadel? It's waterline and layered at tier 6. And 30 millimeters is quite a bit at tier 6. There's not... not what can I, nothing can really overmatch it at this tier. Nothing can really overmatch it, so... Um, provided it doesn't just get pinned straight through. I think there's going to be a lot of ghost shells arming in, in this gap. This thing is going to be a pain to sit at a... Sit at a deck is 30. Yeah, there's no way that's going to get the overmatch. No way that is going to be overmatch. Nelson with 406s. 406s don't overmatch 30. 406s overmatch 27. You need 430. And there's none of that available at this tier. And I don't think you can't face it unless you fail division. Kembar, thank you for the 9. Interesting. That's that's a that's not a whole lot of citadel hidden in this thing. Keek doing, huh? Interesting. Uh, back to detector. Let's see. And then we have in a draft. Wait, what's the? I should have looked at the description actually. The cruiser was developed as of the Yama clan's ships. She was larger, and her main battery guns were mounted in turrets. Variant of the new generation light cruiser project developed in the late 1930s. She had 852 guns as her they forgot to 50 millimeters, but it's very early. Eendracht, a variant, a variant of the new generation light cruiser project with 1052 millimeter guns as her main battery. Interesting. 33k health, not a whole lot. Spotter plane, pretty standard Hydra. What the fuck is that bug? It's not a bug, it's more the fact that uh, we there was a bit of file editing to give us access to the ships on, on the PTS. That's why all the ships are in the Europe tree and that's why a bunch of American ships are there as well. Or Congress is sitting there as well. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Can we have this as a, hi as a highlight on YouTube? Sure, I, c I can throw it up as a highlight. Man, the level of detail once again though. The level of detail, like on everything, is uh, quite spectacular to be honest. Say what you want about every other department at Wargaming, but the art department, man. The art department, look at these AA mounts. The art department, man, they are something else. That's a lot, man, that's a lot of AA, isn't it? AA everywhere. It's like an, it's, a, it's an American ship, goddamn. Let's see, armor layout. Oh, this looks quite similar than the earlier one. Is this Citadel gonna be, oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> the Citadel is hidden as well. Oh man, I think these uh, mid-tier, mid-tier Dutch ships are gonna be hella troll. Absolutely ridiculously troll. Wait, where's? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so we get, we have a layered, layered fifty or seventy-five, and then behind that we have thirty. I think these are gonna be really troll to Citadel. These are going to be exceptionally tro troll to Citadel, I think. Almost perfect for sap ships, not like they have released a line of them recently. <laughs> Interesting. I wish we could see some other stats here, but uh, because of the way we kind of jerry rig this, we can only really look at the armor. Oh, 
as the freeboard of a Petra. Let's see. Harlem, tier 8 cruiser. 40,000 health. <laughs> Zao's 40k health is more than enough, by the way. 15.6 range, 32.5 knots, 15 second reload. HEAP. Hydro and war heal. Hydro defensive and heal. And the new airstrike at tier 8. Wow. That's, that's a lot of goodies to have at tier 8. That is a lot of goodies. That's a lot of goodies to have at tier 8. 40 second cooldown on the heal as well. It's not a super heal. Super heal is one that heals really, really, uh, that heals a ton. That's a specialized repair. Uh, but this is like a fast repair, which means lower cooldown on it. Yikes. Maximum bomb damage 5.8, number of bombs in payload 4, number of aircraft in attacking flight 8, available flights 2, maximum range 10 kilometers. Jesus, we'll see how this works out. Is this one a... 5km Hydra as well. 5km Hydra, tier, tier 8, okay. Let's see what this thing has, has on it. Quite boxy looking, honestly, battle cruiser looking turrets almost. Well, I should have, actually I should have looked at the description. Wait, can I go back? Two hundred three millimeter guns, SKC thirty four in fifteen second reload, twenty two point five traverse. That's a chunky looking cruiser, man. That is a chunky looking cruiser. The level of detail it was, is once again really, really impressive. You can even see, can you see inside uh, the conning tower? Even a bit of details in there. Let's look at the armor itself then. Oh wow, <laughs> wait, this was a cruiser, right? Tier 8 cruiser with heal and hydra. Uh, okay, 25 top nose. 50 millimeter icebreaker. Okay. 30 millimeter deck armor. 50 millimeter upper belt. 27 torpedo, but I, you guarantee there's going to be something stable behind us. Protection of the air. And another as month well. of world of warships. Flame a hype. Blue screen, thank you for the 49. Turrets themselves, 150s. Wait, what do they have going on behind? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, uh, that's that's a that's quite a turtle bag. That's wait, that's layered armor. That's torpedo plating into turtle bag into citadel. Jeez. Okay. Two 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 hundred. Des Moines is hundred and fifty two base. Two hundred. That's actually insane. At tier eight. So it's 27 plus 200, so 227 just to get just just to get past this part, and then then once we get past like this thing is, oh man, that's a lot of chunkiness. Behind that we have 40 millimeters and 30 millimeters. On top of this, what's actually on top of this thing? We should, can't really see the deck from here, but oh my lord! It's 227, 267 millimeters of layered turtleback armor to punch through to get to the citadel. Holy shit. Considering the angling going on as well when the shells come in, like, holy, we're talking 300 millimeters of armor, you're probably gonna have to punch through. Holy shit. That is a lot of armor. Good lord. And the citadel is so low that can you even go through the nose? No, no way you can go through this nose. You need some absolutely insane levels of plunging fire to go through the nose into the citadel. How much you want to bet there's... How much you want to bet there's a bunch of hidden plates in here as well? How much you want to bet there's a bunch of hidden plates in here as well? Jesus. 
Yeah, this thing is absurdly tanky for a tier 8. I'm a very stable genius. Dead game Holy who shit. even plays this trash anymore. <laughs> Evo sides, thank you for the 40 months. Dude, what the hell? That's actually an insane level of armor. I thought Baltimore was tanky. <laughs> this thing laughs at Baltimore. Okay. We're gonna look at the premiums. Uh, the other ones here in just a bit. We're gonna look at the, the Dutch ships first. Johan de Witt. Year of design 1945. A smaller version of the th 1047 Project Battleships. Battle cruisers, sorry, with 240 millimeter main battery guns. Forty-six thousand health. The AA values. I wish we could see them because the AA numbers on this thing looks insane. 240 millimeter gun, 17 second reload, 16 game range, 32.1 knots. HE bomb air strike, all the consumables, spotting, fast reloading heal, defensive and hydro, and cruiser at damage con. The AA values are in the dead block. Yeah, we kind of went through them in the previous video, so everyone knows that these ships have completely insane AA, like completely insane AA. Uh, these have, these ships have stronger AA than basically any ship we've seen. Let's preview this thing then. <laughs> very battle cruiser S. Very Hindenburg genius. turrets again. Closer to the T8 has then. a 25 millimeters turtle bag though. So. Mm. Uh, thank you, dear blunder. For the 37 months. Impressive level of detail once again. Two chunky looking smoke smokestacks. I wouldn't want to be the guy on top of there. A lot, a fair bit of, like this is no petrol in the sense that there's a fair bit of broadside going on here. But I can already look, looking at the angle of this belt here, I'm expecting this thing to have pretty insane armor as well. Yeah. Yep. 25mm upper nose. Are they still trying to insist that these are... Like, what type of cruisers are they trying to insist they are? 25mm upper nose. Oh, it's a 30mm... Wow! What an absolute gigantic middle finger to the Montana. What an absolutely gigantic middle finger to the Montana. Poor Montana and poor Grosse Korfurst. Holy... Those two are 406s uh, bounce on 30, 30 millimeters, but if you have 457 millimeter guns, you or match it. Oh my god! Imagine having 406 millimeter guns in 2021. Oof. Deck armor. Oh, 30 as well. <laughs> Montana is basically not gonna touch this thing, whereas something like an Ohio is gonna just chunk through the entire thing. Yikes. Upper belt, 40. Once again, the torpedo plating, 27. No stern protection, unlike the tier 8. The Harlem, I felt, had better armor than this, almost. Let's see, let's get rid of this. Whoa, 227 millimeter plating behind that. So then expecting some trolley. Whoa, okay, once again, a turtle back. A chunky turtle back of... Ara, ara, my ass 27 plus 225, 252 406 millimeters standard caliber for new glorious Soviet light cruiser, <laughs> Tavarish. Indeed. 40 millimeters here. And oh wow, another 30 millimeter pl deck plating. Wow. This, this, these ships are not going to be fun to fight in 406s. These things are not going to be fun to fight in those, but uh, looking at the level of overmatchability on the nose, I feel like stuff like Kremlin, Ohio and such, and uh, even Georgia's and such, is going to be able to pun maybe punch through. Unless there's hidden plates, we're giving tend to add a lot of hidden plates inside, inside the nose that we can't really see. We have to go into the armor viewer to find them. Interesting. That's a lot of durability though, especially against any sort of smaller caliber guns. I felt like the tier 8 had scarier looking armor though, for, for the tier basically, than this thing did. Let's take a look at Gudelu. Gu, Gu, Gudelu. 
Go go with that low. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop pissing off all the Dutch viewers. <laughs> let's see. Uh, no spotter plane on this guy. 200. Well, let's see description. A battle cruiser project. 1047 developed in the Netherlands in the late 1930s to counter the Japanese fleet in the Pacific. Main armament comprises nine German 283mm guns. We've actually seen some uh, data leaks of these, some data mines of these, and so far they're basically identical to Scharnhorst, gun Scharnhorst guns, except with a bit improved penetration. Overall, they haven't really seemed that insane. Um, the penetration, yeah, someone said in chat, closer to Henry but not really anything crazy here yeah here was here we see the same hea pl fans we see on that one reload 17 seconds though if you build for it you can obviously get that significantly higher 51 52,000 health 16.5 range 33.5 knots all the consumables you could ask for except for spotter plane the reload is once again a fast reloading one and let's see what do we have here well first of all you can tell this is not a petro pavlovsk you can tell this ship was actually designed by someone who's actually sat on a boat because he realizes that if you want to sail on the sea you need a fair bit of freeboard so your ship doesn't sink so this, this was obviously made by an actual naval engineer that's 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 kind of scary um detail wise damn that's so much the AA values on this thing are also going to be so absurd there is a lot of AA guns on this thing let's see Ar Ooh, armor layout wow this entire line seems like a big middle finger to the old battleships are you still playing a Montana and a Grosse Corfurst in 2020, 2021 how dare you 25 millimeter upper nose, 30 millimeter deck, 40 millimeter, and 30, wait, 30 millimeter torpedo protection. Jesus. Like, what is Montana going to do about this thing? This is pretty horrendous for the Montana. Whoa, okay. The Citadel actually seems to sit quite high. I mean, there is a turtle back, but it's overmatchable. And it's, this Citadel seems to sit quite high compared to the other ones. The belt itself is 225 once again, 40 and 30 again. I felt like the tier 8 armor was, uh, for its tier, it was kind of scarier than these things. These things just feel like a gigantic middle finger to the 406mm battleships. That's, that's kind of what the ships feel like. Seems to be an extended plate on the side. We are what now? Hmm. Pretty rough though. Pretty rough uh, so far. Let's check out the other two. There was there's the what is it called? The the seven provincian? The seven provincian a light cruiser laid down before the start of World War II. She was completed in the 1950s utilizing a changed design. She had powerful air defenses that comprised 152 dual purpose guns. I assume 152 millimeter dual purpose guns. Despite Wargaming trying, I don't think they actually built 152 dual purpose guns. That sounds a bit like a bit too much like a Soviet fantasy to me. Maybe if the ship had a different flag, I might believe it, but I think they made 152 millimeter. Yes, 53 bow force. The seven provincian, 33.8k, 16.1 range, 32 knots. Damage con, 8% speed boost. Oh, super heal, specialized repair heal. This is an actual super heal. So this thing is going to be able to heal an absolutely absurd amount. Let's see. Ooh. Jesus. Dude, I feel this thing just looks so out of place for a World War II game. It just looks so incredibly modern. It looks so incredible. Like, it looks Cold War. So Cold War. Don't get me wrong, the art department still our job on the details and everything again. Uh, but... Yeah. <laughs> 
keep considering this is tier eight, this thing can run into a worse plan. <laughs> like, just to put it into perspective, in terms of what year they were launched, uh, that is somewhat amusing. Alright, let's see. Armor, okay. 27mm deck, 25 nose. This looks pretty standard. Pretty standard 25. We have a bit of 50mm armor here. But this isn't Citadel armor though. This it has an external armor belt actually. That's interesting. Whoa, look at this thing kiting away. Look at this thing kiting away though. The superstructure is gonna eat shit, but. Actually got a fair bit of armor protecting it when you're kiting away. The entire stern is very tanky. Interesting. Whoa. That's that's the citadel. Oh no, chat. Oh no, this thing is gonna be a troll, isn't it? Oh no. That's very much overmatchable. <gasps> 30 millimeters again? Oh no! Why do they, why do they hate the Montana so much? Holy moly! So wait, what does this thing have? It has slayered armor of seventy-five, followed by thirty behind them. And that's that's not that big of a citadel, and that thing is incredibly waterline. Look how waterline that thing is. I think it's it's basically just barely above the waterline. NC, Iowa, Monty. Yep, those things are gonna have fun. Yikes. It's gonna be a black hole ship? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm feeling like you're gonna get either ore pens, bounces, or just like torpedo protection shatters. It's gonna be all sorts of trolley things happening with this one. Unless, of course, you got four, five, sevens. Then I think you might just punch through everything. We'll, we'll see. That's a lot of layered armor. How does this affect short fuse AP like British light cruisers? I don't know. It might be messy. It might be messy. The radar has hit points too. <laughs> it actually does. That's pretty funny. And then we have finally. What do I have finally? We have finally Congress. Oh no. This is this is their ab Alaska abomination. Uh, they're totally not an Alaska Alaska. Oh wait, you can oh you can do hydro plus radar, 10 game radar, of course, plus heal, sure, why not? 60,000 health, because that's nice at tier 8 for a classic cruiser. Odin, by the way. Same Alaska guns. Same Alaska range, same Alaska speed. Totally not Alaska, by the way. Yeah, uh, this clearly uh, doesn't look like an Alaska that's been stripped down at all. Totally not. Maybe, the, but at least maybe they they stripped down the armor. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, they <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Okay, 28, really? What, what a nice, juicy middle finger. Wait, isn't it 406 divided by 14.3 is exactly 28.4. Can it get through that? I think it needs to be higher than that to get through. I think it needs to be rounded up, doesn't it? They round down, don't they? Interesting. And the citadel is oh no, is it waterline? Clearly, it's standard Alaska troll citadel. Oh no! Wow, this thing looks so completely balanced for tier eight. Well done, war gaming. This thing looks perfectly ready. Ship it out. No changes required. 60,000 health, heal, uh, better armor than basically any of the other tier 8 cruisers, um, underwater citadel, ray, uh, 
everything. Just everything. Oh yeah, and the tower match just light cruises as well. Yep, this looks like a solid match for tier 8. I knew as soon as they released Alaska that they would try to squeeze in another moneymaker as soon as possible. But honestly, I didn't think them to be so insanely lazy that they would just squeeze in the Alaska right back. Just, just change the name and squeeze it right back in. That kind of caught me by surprise. Imagine playing Pensacola and running into Congress. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't. We can't really see any anything else. We kind of did a bit of bit of uh, Jerry rigging to actually get access to those. So those are the ones that we could see this time. Um, somewhat worrying a trend to say the least. Metal 